G'day YouTubers, this is Adam, aka Red Out of Bed, with another beer review. <clears throat> the beer we're reviewing today is, if I can get the bloody thing open, James Bogues I don't know why it's doing this but it is James Bogues Draft I've had this heaps of times before but thought I'd review it for you guys and the reason why I'm wearing the beanie and the scarf is I know that Jez likes wearing his West Tigers gear, so I thought, ah, oh, bugger it, I'll get out my old Pohole power gear and give them a bang, uh, give it a wear, especially considering they got up tonight against the Demons. So anyway, enough, enough crapping on. Let's crap this bastard open. <coughs> like two stops, they're, they're good. Um, not much hair, just one finger, I think. I didn't pour it very fast because I've had, as anyone who watched the first review, no, I spilled some on the cup and spilling beer is, makes baby Jesus cry. Anyway. Um, faint smell of, uh, uh, the faint smell of malt and barley, I'm fairly sure. Don't say anything, but I'm fairly sure they probably use some adjuncts. Most Australian breweries do, especially since Jet Bugs got bought out by. Lion well, Nathan at about, I think it was about five years ago. Anyway, enough of that. Mm. <coughs> Pardon me. Very smooth. Um, with a bitter taste that kind of lingers, not unpleasant, nice, bitter taste. Anyway, another go. Yeah. As Australian beers go, this is a pretty bitter, malty kind of brew. It's very nice. <sighs> yeah. Mm. Okay. Top her up. <laughs> a little bit more. Anyway. Um. Oh, this is better than most. It seems Bogues hasn't, um, sorry, Lion Nathan, aka I think it's Kieran, which is another good beer. Um, haven't messed with the recipe, messed with Bogues too much. It's really good because their premium lager, which is next step up, is like one of my first ever really, you know, high end brews I've ever drunk in my life and I love it. So, yeah, four point, should say in the back, 4.6%, which is the same as Tui's, um, same as Tui's and VB and Carlton Draft and all the rest of it.
So this is much better. This is I'm going to give the highest rating out of all the three that I've done. I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. I, it goes awesome on, on tap. I've been trying my best to win this iPod stereo thing with a Bose thing on it at the pub by each time you buy a pint. Get an entry form, I've got like about heaps of them. Anyway. 8 out of 10. Oh, and also. I've changed the thing I'm filming the beer reviews with. I was talking to my sister and she said, oh, I'll go, oh, thinking about buying a decent web camera because the one on my laptop's crap. She said, why don't you just use your iPhone? Next problem is that the iPhone has, you can't bounce it. So I thought I'd go look for a cheap dock so I can keep it upright. That's something better. It was like this little thing that looks like a, mm -hmm. a plumber's. What's it called? A plunger. It looks like a little mini plunger, except it's like this big. All you do is you wet it so it gets suction, put it on the back, adjust the like, little stick that holds it all together, and voila, you got like a little tiny tripod that holds it all into place. So yeah, I've sorted that out for the grand sum of $2. And now that's, if this goes alright, my iPhone will be the only thing I'm going to be filming with. So the next, probably, I'll probably have a couple more reviews in the next couple of days. Uh, one I'm trying to aim for is something that the most Easterners and pe people outside South Australia have heard of brew called Southwick Bitter, which I'll see if I endeavour to get and review. Okay, well, um, I, <laughs> I hope you enjoy this review and definitely give this a go. It is a really nice beer, cross bugger all, and Wait a sec. Oh shit. Pick up the stubby, hopefully there's no dribbles in. Nope. All good. Go to power. I've got this with the carton, so I'm gonna have a few more of these. Give this stupid looking stubby holder go and enjoy the rest of my night so I hope you do too or whatever time it is over the yard on and keep enjoying your beers cheers